This video is sponsored by Leatherback Gear Armored Backpacks. Each backpack comes equipped with two hidden internal pockets designed to hold the level of armor you'd like to carry inside. Perfect for work, school, and travel. With their patent backpack to bulletproof design, simply pull the red zipper to separate the backpack into two parts, creating an armored vest within seconds. Protection that goes wherever you go, ready for whatever comes your way. Check them out at leatherbackgear.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we are focusing on 45 ACP handguns. People said, give me 45s, I've had it with the 9mm, so we're doing that with this video. However, the last Choose Only One video, we had single stack 9mm, and I had a ton of comments come in. I really enjoyed reading them, but in the end, the MMP Shield took it. Followed by the Car PM9, and the other three received their fair share of votes as well. But today, 45 ACP, it's a wide variety, so let's check it out. Let's start with the handgun that I showed when I opened up this video, and it's right here, the HK-45. What a nice handgun this is with a polymer frame, 10-round magazines. You can see that the magazine release is on the trigger guard. That's ambidextrous. The slide stop is also ambidextrous. 4.5-inch barrel. Excellent ergonomics. HK really does a nice job with those. Full pick rail right there. Three-dot luminescent sights that are like a glow-in-the-dark feature and they really stand out and a trigger pull that is very nice the single action four and a half pounds sometimes four and a quarter pounds with a reset right there it's a soft shooting 45 acp handgun i really enjoy it and i think those who have shot this would testify to that point i really like this one this is a magnum research baby desert eagle 3 and 45 they make a larger model but this is called the semi-compact it has an all steel frame makes it a heavy handgun its loaded weight is 46 ounces 3.85 inch barrel comes with two 10 round magazines. You can see it's patterned after a CZ. It has a slide mounted decocker thumb safety. They call that a teardrop. Move that down like that and that will disengage the trigger. It has a single action trigger measuring right at four pounds. Very nice with a short reset right there. The heavy steel frame mitigates any recoil. Three dot steel sights. Overall, a very nice handgun. I've always enjoyed it. Put a ton of rounds through it. It's always performed excellent. You have to have a 1911 with this video, and I chose the Springfield Armory Emissary. I love this gun. Equipped with modern features, check out those VZ G10 grips. It mimics the back strap, the flat mainspring housing, and the front strap. Great overall feel. Five inch barrel. See it has a shiny slide there, matte black finish, forward serrations, deep cut rear serrations, a flat trigger, U-notch rear sight, tritium front dot with a bull barrel. Check that out. Comes with two eight round magazines. Let's check out that trigger. It is sharp with a four and a quarter pound trigger pull with a reset right there. And that's what keeps you on target. Love the Emissary. Love 1911s. This one just does it for me. I think it's an amazing 1911 handgun. I know this one will get a lot of votes. It's the CZ97BD. Firing pin block decocker is what the BD stands for. Okay, it's right there. Decocks the hammer into quarter cock. It's got a 4.65 inch barrel all steel frame. Just shy of 50 ounces loaded. If any handgun would model the CZ Shadow 2. In 45, it would be this right here, the CZ 97 BD. Very nice aluminum grips, 10 round magazines. It has a fiber optic front sight, two dot rear sight. Many were sold with night sights. CZ actually discontinued this. I'm not sure why. A lot of people love it, but it's a, it's a beautiful handgun. Single action trigger pull, right at four pounds with the reset right there. You got to love CZs, and this one is a winner. I'm, I'm so happy to have it. I think it's a very fine 45 ACP pistol. Here's a Sig Sauer P220 carry. This model was discontinued, and then they brought it back with the Legion series, and I was happy to see that. I, I think it's an amazing handgun. It comes with eight round magazines, 3.9 inch barrel, full pick rail, aluminum frame, three dot sig light night sights. Has always performed great for me, like the decocker system they have on there. 
But a single action trigger that I am measuring right at four and a half pounds with the reset that is very short, right there. I think it's a great handgun. I've owned this a long time and it has really worked well for me. Straight shooter, you know, it's, it's a carry model. You can get this in the Legion series, but you can't get this one, at least new anyways, from Sig Sauer. How about a subcompact 45? Here we have a Car PM 45. I've had this a long time and I've always enjoyed it. Polymer frame, 3.25 inch polygonal rifle barrel, comes with two five round mags and an extended base plate six round mag. They now make this with a blackened slide, three dot night sights. You can see how small and lightweight it is. Unloaded 19 and three quarters ounces. Very People nice. would pocket carry this, no problem. Car Arms uses a double action trigger, breaks right around six and a half to six and three quarters pounds with a full reset. But this has performed great for me. I've had it a long time. It's always performed well. I enjoy it. I think it's great. For a subcompact 45 ACP, I find this to be first class. How about this one? It's a Bond Arms backup Derringer. Check that out. Double shot. To operate this, you move this lever down and you put your rounds right there. 2.5 inch barrel and a single action trigger. All right, so you cock that hammer back and pull heavy trigger pull. I think most people are going to use this for pocket carry. Has a cross bolt safety right there. Keep it nice and safe. Rubber grips, fixed rear sight, bladed front Again. sight. They call it a backup because they know you're going to put it in your pocket and use it as a just-in-case firearm. But it's pretty cool. I, I like it. You know, not the most accurate, but it'll certainly get the job done when needed. So those were my selection for the 45s. Let me know what you think, you know, any of the ones that I featured or any that you really prefer. I just want to hear your comments and be sure to choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.